Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you something new that I am trying for the first time ever. And I'm joining a bunch of wonderful scrapbookers in our community for Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches, uh, volume nine, I would say. It's the ninth time that this group has done uh, this where they um, there's a sketch selected for each day in the month of March and various um, folks in the community will go ahead and they will join in and create some wonderful scrappy goodness. I will try to link uh, all of the community groups uh, that I'm aware of um, as well as anyone uh, participating that you might want to check them out as well. Here I'm showing you the sketch that we're working with today. I stay true pretty much to it except that I flipped it because of the orientation of my photo. You'll see it here in one second. This sketch is by Lisa Sikorsky for Scrap a Sketch. And the prompt for today is floral. So um, you'll see the, the um, basically the uh, papers that I'm going to select. I kind of go over it really quickly. Uh, it really is only two pieces of paper. Um, they are all from my uh, stash. That burgundy red color uh, that I'm using is uh, making memories from 2006. So for all of you guys that purge and you go through your supplies, if it's flimsy, but if it's a color that you know that you use frequently, um, I would keep it, keep it in your color section of your papers because you just never know when you're going to use it. Um, this particular, um, uh, these particular papers are all part of a sports themed collection and I've just kind of kept adding to it because um, it serves two folds. It serves to chronicle, here I'm showing just a metal die that I'm going to use, um, but it serves me to chronicle both the school type activities related to the sport, but also my, um, both of my girls play travel softball. So you'll, it serves the same purpose. So anything softball related, school colors, team colors, kind of just went to build this, uh, kit per se. So this is what I'm pulling from. So not all of these papers that I've already used the metal die on are from that collection. It's just different collections over time that I've had. So they're not one particular collection. And you'll see me that I've grounded the red um, burgundy onto kind of a mustardy yellow. Part of it is because I'm documenting um, these are high school photos and the colors for the school team are burgundy and um, burgundy and gold or this mustardy kind of color. So um, I've pulled some strips of paper. That's what you see the gray there. It's the other side of that um, the stitch for the softball. So I've cut that out as well here. You see it a little bit better. I'm just, um, the only thing I've prepped is that, is that, um, the, the background paper on that, uh, frame mat. I'm just showing you here that I'm not going to put adhesive too close to the top because I know that that's where those tags that I've cut out are going to, are going to, um, I'm going to throw those in there, um, and just tuck them in. So I'm not too worried that those a stitch, um, uh, the kind of the half inch stitch uh, papers are not going to go all the way across because one, I know that um, uh, I'm going to do an embellishment cluster at the bottom and my photo is going to help me camouflage the one at the top. So I'm not too worried about that. So you'll see this is the photo. I've covered up the other players because those are not anyone related to me. So I've gone ahead and um, just covered them up for the sake of their privacy. Um, 
and here I'm just starting that embellishment cluster. I don't care that it's going off the page very easily trimmed off with just, you know, scissors. I'm looking through my red labels here, just trying to find something that I might be able to tuck in there just for interest. This, um, uh, this organizer that I have, believe it or not, is from the Dollar Tree and is for, uh, was labeled as uh, a container for a mask or masks. Uh, it's not very thick, um, but I, I love this idea of using these for my labels. I love my labels. I love using labels and I have them in lots of different colors. Uh, so here I'm just, um, I'm going to, I left this, these couple of, I think first couple of tags in just showing you some of the, uh, the threading, uh, that I'm doing, just using some crochet thread. I think I found it at Walmart. So here I've kind of spared you, but yeah, those, I don't know if they, uh, still sell them, but they're from the Dollar Tree. You could, I found them in like the healthcare aisle. Um, but again, they're billed as, uh, you know, uh, containers for, uh, carrying your mask, I guess, in your purse or whatever. Um, so, um, I do go back and I do trim off the thread. So it's just, I'm just trying to, for right now, um, adhere this, um, this top section. I do pull in my T square. I don't know. Maybe I was just feeling like it was going cattywampus on me here. Um, I don't know exactly why I pulled it in but here I'm just going gonna go ahead um, and I'm gonna take my glue and I'm using the my um, thickers uh, from uh, American crafts and they're called they're glitter letter stickers called shoebox I've got them in black um, they are they are chipboard um, but they, you know, with chipboard, you, you have to have your glue. This is, um, scotch, uh, tacky glue that I've put in this, in this Tombow, the white and green cap, um, container because I have that fine line attachment for it. Um, I found years and years ago at one of my local scrapbooking stores, it was a ranger, in the ranger section, it, they were selling them like literally, literally just the, the fine tips. So I went ahead and bought one. I had had lots of fails with the, um, fine line. They, they just didn't work for me. So I moved on and I've just kind of stuck to this, um, since I have, uh, pulled in some flowers. I was showing you my, um, my color bins and I pulled, I have had those, those black flowers. I've had it. Those are gifted from a friend. The red ones came in some other collection that I had. I really liked, um, the pearl centers, uh, in the other ones that I had picked that just didn't match well enough for me. So here I've just backed them on glue dots. I'm trying to use these up. I don't normally, I think these were gifted to me or they came in something that I purchased. Um, but I'm trying to use them up because I'm not a fan of the, the flat sheets of glue dots, but I will tell you, they do come in handy for if you're having to travel for, um, for, uh, for any reason and you need glue dots or, uh, you take them to crops. They fit really easy in my tool container for, for crops. So here I'm auditioning different things because it the top looks empty to me, but I end up leaving it alone. I don't end up adding anything else. Pretty true to the sketch. Again, the only difference is the orientation of, of the layout and the title placement. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same. Very simple cluster. I don't add any of my usual finishing touches like the enamel dots because of the... Um, the embellishments already in the center of the flowers. I think that is enough. 
no journaling on this page because it is going to be a companion page uh, and I do hope that you will come back tomorrow and you come and see what we do with sketch number two. Bye.